Trade happens to be the number two spend on most brands' P&Ls. 80% aren't satisfied with their ability to manage their promotions. And 72% of brands don't have a tool to measure not just their revenue lift coming from promotions, but how much they're investing to drive that lift. SPIN's Trade ROI helps address this by merging syndicated data with your promotional data. That helps you get a post-event ROI measure on every promotion, diagnose best offers, not just from a revenue standpoint, but from a cost investment standpoint. Also, easily monitor compliance at a retailer in case they're not executing what you're paying for. Identifying insights from your competition. When are they promoting? How long are they promoting for? And what are they getting from it? And through our advisory services, helping you translate these insights into actionable changes you can execute at each retailer. We do this, again, by merging SPINS data with yours. And so the SPINS data is key account sales data. You're providing your promotion calendars, your promotion costs. We're helping you define those promoted product groups in the application and incorporate your margins, how much you're making on each product. Again, to not just understand revenue impact, but profit impact of your promotions. From the start, we're starting you off with at least a year's worth of history, loading that in with you. And again, helping you replan promotions going forward with confidence in your ability to execute change in the marketplace. Let me show you how that happens. First, setting up the application is really easy. It's all web-based, and we're first defining your product groups, those UPCs loaded in, aligning your accounts to how you're selling into those, uh, into those retailers, capturing your margin info, the dollars and cents you're making per unit of product, and again, defining your competition, not only at the brand or category level, but getting down to the unique UPCs that you're competing with on shelf. Click a button and all of that data loads into this next page, which is showing you weekly unit sales over time, both promoted in gray, non-promoted in green, and giving you automatically identifying those promotions week by week. We're capturing what offer was made at shelf, when those promotions happened, any merchandising associated with those, your planned promo price, and then the cost structure lastly. When we have both of those uh, things set up, we can show you a bunch of uh, interesting information. This is the highest level report, which is basically giving an executive level overview of key metrics. What are your retail sales? The number of promotions you ran, estimated trade spend, how much you spent on those promotions and what kind of performance did you get that, get for that spend? This is shown at the channel level, by account, by product, and over time. Our objective here is to get better over time. The next report we have, we call the bump chart report, which is showing you on top your brand's weekly sales history, not in units, but now in dollars, how often you're running promotions, what kind of lift you're getting, and benchmarking against competition. Your direct competitors are selectable on the left, and you can see that for example, this competitive brand is running much longer promotions with a little bit less frequency, but a lot more weeks. They're also declining in everyday sales and getting less performance for their buck. When you want to dig down to the most granular, this report is the events report showing you on the bottom each individual promotion's performance and allowing you at a summary view to compare offers and their performance. 
if your objective is, for example, to drive top line growth, you might focus on the lift metric. However, if you're in a more mature account, you may focus on cash efficiency, where cost per incremental unit and ROI become your key metrics. In this example, we can see the difference between the same price point, a two for six offer, and adding a feature for incremental cost versus the TPR only. In this case, the TPR wins out in either objective. I'm driving more lift and better ROI by that option. To close this out, a lot of brands have uh, multiple issues with trade management. They don't have visibility into performance. Their metrics and objectives aren't clear. They have a lack of tools and technology and a lack of visibility into actual takeaways uh, and insights. How trade ROI helps with this is one, measuring true trade performance, not only at the top line, but at the bottom line of your PL, the profit you're generating from that incremental revenue. We're merging both your data and syndicated data, and doing it easily via technology, web-based interface. And the last point is key. This is not just a software service. We're providing white glove uh, setup and advisory services as your brand evolves and grows in the marketplace.